Welcome to the River Thames, to Medmanham, yeah. on a beautiful sunny evening, where myself and two of the girls who are going on ahead there, you'll see them in the background, are swimming a two and a half kilometre swim. So um, it's a great delight that I announce today's speakers are uh, a fabulous husband and wife team, uh, Noel and Mary Tuhi. Uh, Noel is a local government representative on Leash County Council, my home county, uh, and has served the, the people of Leash, and particularly Port Leash, for many, many years. But Noel was um, luckily selected as one of the chosen few for deep brain stimulation therapy uh, and comes to Romford soon but uh, for, the, for the operation. But... Uh, check out the video and learn firsthand the, the hopes and aspirations of uh, Noel, Mari and their family about kind of what deep brain stimulation uh, will mean to, the, to Noel and their family and uh, most importantly, ultimately, to the people of Ireland. So uh, welcome Noel and Mari. So I hopefully catch up with the girls. Thank you. Uh, welcome, Noel and Mary Tuhi. Uh, delighted that you could, as leash people that we all are, that you could join uh, the Henley Mermaids on uh, the series of uh, interviews that we're doing uh, with people kind of living with the day-to-day -day conditions, including uh, Parkinson's. So, um, Noel, can you can you give a bit of background to your yourself and your your career to date? Your you know and, and living with Parkinson's really leading up to the diagnosis? Yeah, well, I, I worked in the prison service here in Port Leash for 30 years. And sort of coming towards the end of that, I realized there was some problem. And uh, to make a long story boring, I, I, I was attending a neurologist who basically misdiagnosed me for a number of years. So it was only about six, seven years ago, six years ago, that I was actually diagnosed with Parkinson's. Even though I know myself, I had it much longer, you know. I went to the neurologist in Beaumont and he saw me walking down the corridor and he said, you have Parkinson's. He said, we're going to have to get a scan to prove it, basically. But I can tell you, basically I have now. So I was diagnosed like that, as I was to say, about seven years ago. And it impacts on you. And it is a disease, as I've often said, you know, you, you can't let dominate and, and lead your life for you. But it's it's something that is progressive or regressive, I suppose. And uh, it's, it's something that, well, you learn to live with it and you, you do your best to improve it if you, if you can. And I've met some great people and some great neurologists and one in particular who has referred me now for DBS, which is a deep brain stimulation. And I've, I have great faith in this procedure and I, I look forward to it. So uh, for, for the benefit of the audience, uh, between your, yourself, Noel, and, and Mari, can you give a perspective on what deep brain stimulation is as a treatment for Parkinson's? It's its, it's main achievement, if you like, or what, what you hope from it would be that the tremor itself, which is, you can understand, people know, understand how one would feel having a constant tremor like that. It, it seems to, if not eliminate, to at least improve the tremor dramatically. And that in itself would be a huge advantage. Also, it, it, I think it demands less medication. And I found the medication, it, it increases as you go on. There seems to be no limit to the amount of medication you can be prescribed or taken. And I feel it has led to other things in the in the Parkinson's realm, which I wouldn't have expected, like hallucinations and that kind of thing. And I'd be hopeful that the DBS for me would achieve a huge reduction in the tremor. I mean, if, if you watch it on YouTube, for example, you can see these guys switching themselves on and off. And it's, it's absolutely amazing, you know. I'd be hoping also that it would be 
a reduction, as you say, in medication, which would improve other things, like, as I say, hallucination, whatever, whatever. It's, it's no two people seem to be the same. I mean, I talk to people with Parkinson's and their ailments aren't my ailments, even though it originates from the, I suppose, the same source. But uh, I, I'm looking forward, this has given me hope and it's given me something to live for and to expect that I live more quality time with my family. I'm going to die eventually the same as everybody is, but there's no need, I, I'm, I'm not going to die tomorrow. The, the old saying about Parkinson's is you die with it, not of it. And I think the DBS is one of the most amazing things, people who suffer from the disease that I have. It's one of the most amazing prospects, one of the most amazing hopes you have, because other than that, you could just basically, it's not a phrase like use, but you'd be just getting worse and worse with no hope of an improvement. So as I said, this has given me hope and look, I look forward to it. It's given us all hope, like it's, I don't think anybody, well, any of us really knew anything about it either. And we all, we started Googling, of course, and looking at clips on YouTube. And I think for Noel, from, from my perspective, the tremor seems to be the greatest, having the greatest impact on his life. In a practical sense, you can understand, you know, just, you know, to be the ability to be, use both hands um, at the same time. And Noel McKenzie is very community involved and involves a lot of meetings. So there's a practical side to, you know, folders and and leafing through pages, etc. You know, and it's the constant, yeah, it's the constant, constant movement. You can imagine, well, I can only imagine, or anybody that hasn't got Parkinson's can only imagine the wear and tear on your limbs, on your muscles, and you know, exhausting. The amount, I imagine. Exhausting the amount of energy it takes. So for us, for me, and for all of the family, you know, we just can't wait for this because it's, it's, it can only be good and it is good and it's just life changing, literally. So, so I think it's, a, it's important to kind of for the, the people viewing these videos to understand as well that while, you know, the, the mermaids all live in, in the UK, um, you know, near John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxfordshire, where, or Oxford, where, which is one of the centres where DBS is available in the UK, it's widely available in the UK, but not in the Republic of Ireland. So um, while it's amazing news, Noel, that you're, you're one of the, the select few that, uh, you know, has been given the green light to uh, come to Romford for DBS treatment, you know, you, you, by all accounts, you're one of the lucky people, you know, in Ireland. And what, what the, the Mermaids campaign this year is aiming to do is in partnership with the, the Dublin Neurological Institute, who I know you're uh, attending there, yes. is that uh, the funds that we raise will uh, go towards uh, what they call PD monitors. So it's um, basically wearable devices similar to uh, watches, but they're, they're, they're kind of strapped onto the limbs of Parkinson patients. And, you know, it gathers the, the you know, your stride, your gait, uh, you know, the, the tremors. It gathers all of that bio data in real time to kind of help uh, the surgeons, uh, you know, do the operation and fine tune the treatment, uh, you know, to, to give you the best possible quality of life after it. So, you know, I think um, the more we, we can succeed in, in raising you know, it, it, please God, will have a massive impact on, you know, individuals like yourself that uh, is living with the, the condition in Ireland uh, day to day. Um, yeah, well, I, I would ask people to support it because, as you say, I'm one of the lucky ones. It's literally costing me nothing now. I'm going to, I'm going to England and uh, the treatment of broad scheme covers it because the government or whoever can provide the service to me in Ireland to have to pay for me going uh, going abroad but there's huge expense for other people and I, I am one of the lucky ones I do appreciate that and I know there's I, I read somewhere it's something like 12,000 people in Ireland with Parkinson's yeah. but before you go on to the other diseases that's a lot of people that's a lot of big towns if you took a town like Port Harrington which is nearby every it's like everybody in that town you know what I mean and these are a little bit forgotten people they're a big number but they're not big enough to make a hue and cry and i would ask people to support it 
supporting people that are left behind, if you like. And it's 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 just a wonderful. I don't know. If, I don't know if we call it a charity because it's a necessity for people who have Parkinson's. And um, the hope I've been given, I, I I just I just feel sorry for people who haven't got that hope. And this is the way to go about it: return the service to the people. And for for a small contribution, it will be a big help. And I just ask people to support this scheme. Unfortunately, I can't swim myself, so I won't be able to join you on it. But I do think. I do. Well, on, on the day, Noel, hopefully uh, yourself and Mary will uh, be able to kind of see us strutting our stuff across the Bristol Channel, you know, <laughs> grinding through the, the miles to get from uh, Ilfracombe to Swansea. But we'll be um, watching it all. Yeah, it's really fantastic. And, and, uh, and cheering us on and you know from when we did the the english channel last year all we had was a whatsapp group that, that maxed out at 250 people because no, more couldn't come on it but you know in in the darkest hours and you know you do kind of hit the wall at times um you know the messages of support and cheering on do make a massive difference but um you know equally you know it's all for uh you know people like yourselves and you know, bringing DBS and supporting other uh, brain conditions in Ireland. So uh, just to, to wrap up on that, for people who are so inclined to kind of make donations, if you go on the Henley Mermaids website, that's www.henleymermaids.com and click on the Irish flag to donate to the Irish charities of which uh, the, the Dublin Neurological Institute is one of the main um, charities we're raising awareness and funding for, uh, or the, the Union Jack for uh, the British charities. So July 22nd is the day, hopefully weather conditions um, allowing. So uh, cheer us on and uh, uh, thank you again for kind of joining in on uh, the campaign and very best of luck Noel with your, your surgery. And wishing you both, you know, I know you're uh, your, your childhood sweethearts, but wishing you both kind of many more years of, um, you know, reduced tremor. I won't say tremor free, but, uh, you know, a lot more uh, agility and happy, uh, agile times together. And so I just say, to John, before you go, we, we would like to thank you, you and the Henley Mermaids for taking on this. I mean, you're so brave, number one, and you're so kind to, to think about doing it but to just point out yeah, it's wonderful for Parkinson's patients what you're aiming to do but you're 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 affecting much more than the actual patient themselves you're affecting the family oh, the loved ones their circle you know it means so much so we're we're very grateful personally and I'm sure everybody who will be looking at this who is affected by any of these things would also be very grateful to you and we certainly would be cheering you on and watching you and, Brilliant. Uh, well, we'll do our best. You know, there we go for the grace of God, all of us. It could be any one of us. So um, we'll do our be best. A great day but it'll be a great day for Mount Malik, yes. And <laughs> Port Leash, yeah. And Thomas Lee as well, yeah. <laughs> for for the, the county of Leash, yeah. And for Offaly. Yeah. I was born in Tullamore as well. We can't forget that. Um, so thank you both again. And uh, yeah, please dig deep, folks. Uh, www.henlymermaids.com. So thank you again, Noel and uh, Mari, and stay tuned. Thank you, John. You're the one doing the work. Thanks very much.